Hello YouTube, we are back with some more commentary for you all. Um, this footage was filmed at Dean's Dugout, which is a great store that we go to in the Naperville area for those of you in the Chicagoland region. Uh, we go there every Sunday at 1230, so if you want to play Digi, hang out with us, meet some cool people, we are there. I'm joined tonight by Arby, um, the, the second coming of the Highwayman. It's me, the highway man. As TJ is on his endeavors in Japan, Scotland, somewhere yeah. around the world. Instead of Carmen San Diego, we got TJ around the world. In Japan. <laughs> like that one episode. Oh no. <laughs> uh but um here we have a little bit of a i guess you can call it like a throwback match i guess if you want to put it that way back to ex ex4 we've got alter s and jarell with his shenanigans mm -hmm. going up against anthony who is trying out a little bit of blue flare blue flare magic yeah, a different type of machine a different type of machine and i think we actually have our like play mat set up perfectly for alter s with the little red highlight and blue flare with the little blue highlight so good setup there but but yeah i think this should be a good one i know anthony's been trying to make blue flare work it's his little like side project and you guys have seen jarell's spice with the alter s so it should be a good one um a quick shout out to our socials which will be linked in the video description below including our twitter our instagram the discord our youtube and tcg memberships as I said in the previous video, um, our box tournament is now live. The information for that will be in the description. Um, to summarize it for you folks, it's going to be capped out at 64 players. We are going to be hosting it via Discord on March 9th. Signups will be through BCP. Um, like I said, I will link the sort of event signup page in the video description. Try to get your tickets before they do sell out. Uh, we are going to be increasing pricing for like more players that we get. So the more people who sign up, the more chances there are to kind of walk away with more than just more than just a box for those who do well. So um, if you're interested and free on March 9th and want to hang out and chill with us, please do sign up. We'd love to have you. It's our first tournament, so we want to get it right and we want to do it right. So we, we hope to bring the best for you guys. Um, but enough chit chat, enough advertising. Let's hop right into some Digimon over here. Match. Cool. So we're just seeing our player set up here. Um, Anthony just keeping hand is always a scary thought for me because I'm like, well, shit. <laughs> he sees what he wants. I'm in trouble. Yep, and then he does this cut. This cut that always bricks your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why didn't you cut it? Why didn't um... you cut him? <laughs> And we see Jarrell start off with some pretty standard stuff for Alter S. You know, go into Goblin in the back, play out an Agumana search. He does end up picking up an Omekamon and I believe a Alter S? Um, yeah. Not an Alter S, it's uh, Blitz. It's Blitz, Great. yeah, yeah. Come on. Oh, Anthony just also doing some pretty standard stuff. The Gauss into the Kiriha Nene. Um, and we do see some additional spice here by Jarrell. So we see the Omekamon go on top of the Agu. Using which, it to cross. Using it to cross. Um, and then here he's able to kind of cook with some gas. Going into the... The Werger. Yeah. Yeah. So he's just explaining how things work. So like something evolved. He's able to proc go into the Greymon. Then he's able to go into the Werguruman. He does yeah. end up keeping turns. So he's still at zero. So he's still... Omeka is, I think, pretty decent for this deck. If you can set it up yeah. early, like, it gives you a lot of... Get oh, my... Speaking of Omeka, this guy... <laughs> he just does it again. <laughs> okay. And allows him to go into the crest, which is not bad. I mean, he's got a pretty... I mean, this is turn two, and he's got a level six and two level fours in play. Yeah, it's really solid. And then we see Anthony here adding his spice to his machine spice to to any deck that he touches with a supreme connection here. He's able to search top five um, and then plays out a Gaussmon, which allows him to proc the original Gauss or the, I guess, EX4 Gaussmon's effect too when something's played out to draw. Yeah. Supreme connection, again, is an interesting option in this deck because uh, it reduces the play cost of a cyborg. Mm hmm. 
So your Greymon can be played for free. Right? Yeah, yeah. We see Jarrell here kind of start doing these ping ponging things. So he goes into the Wergarumon, gains memory since things were digivolving. Yep. Um, but unfortunately, does not seem to have his top end pieces. So he just has two yeah. big guys kind of out there, which, if Blue Flare can see its pieces, can be kind of scary right now. Yeah. If, if Anthony is able to go into. Um, uh oh. I can stun this. Uh. Jarrell's kind of in, in some trouble, but you know, having two big, big beefy boys, uh, <laughs> pretty solid. <laughs> but uh, oh. looks like it find the metal gray. Um, or is that the Decker gray? I can't. That's the Decker that. gray. Decker gray. Okay, so still searching for it. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and swing with the Gauss. Play um, the Greymon for free to do a little more searching. And. Are you going to see a Supreme Connection play, possibly? Possibly here. He just ends up choosing to swing with the other Gaussmon, proccing the Wanya to draw. Hits a Garurumon. So that does end up dying. He's left with a little bit of, like, what does he do? We finally see a Metal Gray come out of that last Supreme Connection play. Yeah. So he's able to pick that up. So if he can survive this turn, he may be cooking, but I think it's just a matter of if Jarrell is starting to see his pieces or not. Yeah. Uh, so finds Greymon, mm -hmm. um, can Digivolve. Um, he'll go okay. ahead, gain the memory, okay. go into Alter S. Okay. Cross, um, kills the Greymon on board. Mm hmm. And now we get to see... <laughs> we get to see shenanigans. Yeah. Uh. So I, I, I'm... I, I'm really liking the Omekamon. Like, I feel like Omekamon is like a very subtle addition to this deck. Which, yeah. like... Jarrell's build is already, like, all gas. But now mm -hmm. you give Omekamon that flexibility to, like, kind of do things. I think it makes it even more scary. But the scary part for Jarrell now is that he's kind of missing his win, like his finisher. So if Anthony can start doing stuff, he's in a pretty good spot too. Yeah, and Jarrell's down to two security. Yeah. Um, so all it takes it. is a. Well, the problem here is that uh, the metal gray that we saw him pick up earlier, um, the and that male Birdermon, um, he can just stun everything on board. Right. So no, exactly. Nothing, nothing can uh, <laughs> block. Or attack next turn. Um, I'm surprised he didn't. Oh, he's just going for. He's just going for the game. Um, he's just going for game here because then he can zeke potentially. Yeah. Swing for two he, checks. Um, does end up living and then yep goes into right. zeke. You you being the the blue flare player. <laughs> <laughs> the scary thing though was with that ending play is he is going against an ultra S deck that we know runs purely Digimon and no options. And the deck also is like a lot of big beefy boys and he didn't have the jamming male bird no. so like if you swing and hit something that's more than 8k like you're kind of like monka like what do i do now yeah. um I, I situation you probably just try to play for another <laughs> another um metal gray if he eventually drew into it uh, i couldn't right. tell if he did because I think another scary part against going into this deck is that, yes, you could stun the level fours by playing the Metal Gray, but if he just ends up Jogressing, it doesn't matter. Like, it's a fresh, like, reboot. Mm -hmm. If he passed turn there, there, there was a decent chance that he may have just died, too. Yeah, so I think you just go for game. Um, but here, Jarrell ends up just building an Omeka in the back. We see a training come out from Anthony to pick up a Zeke, and then he just hard plays a Greymon mm -hmm. to do some more digging. Solid. You know, he, he's he's got time. You know, he's against the deck that wants to he, take time to search. Um, yeah. And, and, and like, a deck that also likes to play into what a blue flare player wants to see, which is, like, bodies on board. <laughs> Half of them don't have sources underneath. There are not that many sources. Right. 
And like you said, I think Anthony's just sort of biding his time here. Plays out a Kiriha to guarantee himself three memory and a Digicross Tamer, which is always scary. Um, Jarrell starts doing his shenanigans, which... Goes in a crest. Goes bottom in a crest. Deck. Bottom deck. I'm wondering... Because it was a Greymon, right? Shouldn't the um, Metal Grey X pop? Or no? Because it pops a 6k DP or less? Uh, oh, no, 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 it, no, no, that's, if, that's, you a, if you have a team, you're talking about the, the no, 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 the one? metal gray mon X antibody. Oh, the X antibody. Uh, it, I know it prevents, um, don't know that Digi, like DP reduction, but I, if I'm not wrong comments, if I'm wrong, yell at me, I'm okay. <laughs> now. Um, but I'm pretty sure 6k should go. Oh my God. Anthony J metal gray mon is in this Digimon's evolution cards. Uh, delete one of your opponents. Did you yeah. Want to, yeah, you're right. But technically, this crest shouldn't have bought. Like we would have been able to save a yeah, material. Yeah, would have been able to put it underneath. Um, him, yeah. but I mean, Anthony, Jesus Christ, that turn had the yeah. jamming yeah. mailbirds was able to swing and then went into Zeke to do it again. Thanks for two checks. Cheryl has no blocker. Oof. Yeah. That is rough. Um. Oh. I have to go into the altar and. The Digivolve 3, so we're sitting at just a male bird that, in theory, I guess is suspended. Yeah. Um. Which, again, like, Alter B is not a blocker. So if yeah. Anthony can kind of dig up some pieces here, which we've seen him do a lot of searching already. I mean, all he has to do is swing with a male bird and have a metal gray in hand. Exactly. Um, exactly. It's, it's... You would need a Greymon, because I think just with one you would lose you would be one yeah. memory short but i mean yeah it doesn't have the right oh. tamer unfortunately oh he uses the he plays the male bird to um, pick up the metal gray once again so it um, puts threat of game into his hand yeah uh we see Jarrell move up the gabu so Jarrell here has to do something yeah, he has to go for game or he has to establish a blocker that is yeah. big enough in a stat like a digivolution stack position to not be affected and has to pray that anthony doesn't have the male bird which unfortunately we know okay he got rid of it he got rid of one male. i mean there's still the other male bird in in play right um, the other male bird depending on which one jarell removed which i think he got rid of the jamming oh, one. No. Oh no as well but then there's another kiriha and nene which right now look, anthony if he was missing the uh the greymon uh can use a greymon as long as it's um, right blue flare <laughs> but the scary thing about only having one blocker as well is that the male bird okay so he chooses the bottom that male bird allows you to kind of just stun one in general so if jarell only had one blocker on board you can just stun it and it doesn't matter yeah, um, but see, here we see the... Yeah, we, we see Anthony go into the, the Metal Gray. Yeah. And then he can stun one of them. Mm, the Decker. Okay, okay, okay. Well, go ahead and stun that one. Uh, Jarrell had has a big armor deal. purge. Yeah. And then, yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. Jeez. Unfortunate. Now, I think the Decker Gray needs to have a Decker Dramon slid underneath. I'm, I think Anthony slid underneath another Decker Graymon. So I don't know if he would have stun per se, but I don't think the stack had blocker either. So I don't think it really matters. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Blue Flare doing Blue Flare things. Well played. Well played. Yeah, just a quick match. Um, I mean, like we've said to you, like, I think this, the Alter S deck, unfortunately, is a deck that, like, just walks right into what Blue Flare wants to do. <laughs> it frequently will just have two, two Digimon in play if he hasn't, uh, DNA'd into the Alter, Alter S, mm -hmm. Alter B, um, and that's just so rough to do against Blue Flare because it, it lets, it lets Blue Flare do everything they want to do. Mm-hmm. Man, I kind of miss playing Blue Flare. I should pick that shit up again. Oh, go back? Yeah, go back I don't know. to it. <laughs> it's an interesting format. We'll see where it goes. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that does wrap it up for this round. Thank you all for tuning in. 
uh let us know um what other decks you'd like to see hopefully we can try to get some of these as the kind of week goes on we will have a couple locals coming up so if there are any particular decks you guys want to see played we will try to get them on cam you know a lot of our players do bring out a good variety so we should have the whole gambit ready to go and we'll try to sneak them onto cam for you guys um we appreciate y'all tuning in we really do appreciate everybody's support and We'll catch you on that flippy flip. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.